right. <clears throat> Mass Effect Legendary Edition on sale now on Steam. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Yeah. Please log in to access your profile. Profile reconstruction complete. Wait a minute. Please log in to access your profile. Please log in to access your profile. Please log in to access your profile. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Earthborn. Colonist. Spacer. Confirm psychological profile. Cold, calculating, and brutal. Confirm military specialization. Aha. I like engineer. Although, hold on. Omni tool is adept. Confirm facial identification. Closer. Yeah, let's go with this. Profile reconstruction complete. Identification confirmed.
Yes, tutorials. Man, that took a while. Well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. I'm the best. 2148. Mass Effect. Thrusters, gun. check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Seth Green's Drift. voice acting. Just under 1500. Check. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I think he said he's gonna take my pants off. I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Joker. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. What the buttons you are. heading down to see the captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. 
With all due respect, sir, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. I better head down and see the captain. Yes, sir. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's great. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. The claw. 
Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. I'm digging it. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Kill them. Helping survivors is a secondary objective. <laughs> the beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! Your word. We are approaching drop point two. Grenade? Okay. X is grenade. Oh what happened here? Strange controls. There's no reload. I don't even know. I keep trying to reload and I've thrown like three grenades so far. Reload is not X. Maybe we should check. I don't think there is a reload. That's crazy. Interesting, I thought these guys got like a, uh, a 
Oh, I don't know. up with you at the dig site. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Give me a status report, Williams. <laughs> oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Oh. They must have come for the beacon. Uh. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. <laughs> Got that much already. What am I firing at, tutorial? There we go. throw a grenade which was crazy I threw like five grenades trying to reload apparently there is no reload
This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. Oh. <laughs> Banshee, more damage, less accuracy. Er. engaged. Okay. That seems new. Humans. Thank the Maker. Hurry. Close the door before they come back. What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hit... Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. Manuel! When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. Yeah. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication I'm doing kicks in. Uh, just started my weekend. <laughs> Though I figured I'd play this game since I hopped on Steam. And when they were selling this legendary edition for 60 bucks, I was like, I like Mass Effect and I'd like to play it again, but not for 60 bucks. Now I'm stuck. It smells like smoke and death. It smells like get out of here. Um It's like I'm not paying 60 bucks for it, but they knocked the price down by like 80%, so And cool. And so I'm playing Mass Effect 1, but it comes with Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, and Mass Effect Andromeda. For like 15 bucks, I was like. Sarah. Okay, yeah, sure. Nihilus. 
This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I can kill you. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Commander, it's Nihilus. He did. A tour? Yeah, cool. You know him? Hey, Ben, man. He's a Spectre. He was with us on the wall. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. That's probably what I would have done. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. Just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone! If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too! Do you like the Dead Island 2 game? We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. Yeah. That's where the other Turian went. I played it for I, a little... I feel like I, I didn't stay. play it enough to, get away from to give a good <laughs> reply or review on that. I played it some. But it was like, those games were enjoyable. They're not like my all-time favorite games, but I enjoy playing the zombie killing games. And they have a, a humor that I appreciate. They're usually pretty funny. And I like funny zombie stuff. Okay, now I saw...
Yeah, I think... Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Yeah, he's definitely with them. Uh, as far as the Mass Effect games go, I remember liking 2 and 3 more than the first. But I got the Legendary Pack, I got them all, so I figured... I'll just play through them all. Because even if I like the other two better... There's still a good storyline. <laughs> Some would argue that as far as what the last game did, but Shut it down. Hear the beeping. Goodbye now. <laughs> All right. Take it easy.
It's not down here. Oh, I can hear it. What? Also gonna take that stuff. Oh, it's on the other side of that wall. Well, I don't think I'm gonna get there in time. Four, three, three seconds left, okay. Should have looked at my radar sooner. <laughs> I look down, I see the flag. I'm like, well, that's on the other side of the wall. Uh, duh. you now. Protean Beacon. Is it Normandy? The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Beacon actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. been probed. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. 
the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Hissy fit. This human must be eliminated. <laughs> Good luck. I'm the main character of the game. I don't think it's going to be very easy. Doctor. Dr. Chakwas. I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You have this, but you've not played it. Okay. Where's the beacon um, now? They're what good. To they're it? good games. The and I exploded. said this earlier, A but... Uh, overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I like the second and third games better than the first. This is the first, but the legendary edition went on sale on Steam, so I got it, and it comes with all three, so I figured I'd just play through all of them. Uh, so one is good, two and three I think are better, and it also comes with Andromeda, which was... What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I was high. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. Mr. Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I'll live. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. Colonizing. <laughs> Colonizing. Most of them don't do anything about it. <clears throat> but Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the council, Shepard. Ah, Chicago blowing on into the windy city. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. 
Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. And yeah, they're pretty... He's a Spectre. It's a good game he series. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. And of course you have the whole... conversation wheel alignment thing that goes along with it. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Care. Let's go to the story. Not, I don't care. <laughs> to what you were saying. Uh, let's see. Came in to Skyland, pick all up where I left off. Yeah. And they're all pretty big games, so you can put a fair amount of time into all of them. Where am I going? Oh, right. Okay. Run! Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. sizes and everything why so Good. touchy joker i'm just saying you need firepower too look at that monster its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the alliance fleet good thing is on our side then citadel control this is ssv normandy requesting permission to land stand by for clearance normandy clearance granted you may begin your approach transferring you to an alliance operator roger alliance tower normandy out uh, yeah. Please proceed to dock 422. Or at least he's paralyzed or something, yeah. <laughs> yes, and I think this is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. 
Captain Anderson. I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In right, case you had any questions. <laughs> I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. Ugh. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. And that's why I hate politicians. Right on, Ashley. Oh, look at this map. It's so ridiculous. Follow the pulsing arrow. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Nice to meet you, guide. Cortana. Our records indicate this is your first time on the Citadel. A brief orientation session is customary. Please allow me to do my job. So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. I'll pass. I apologize if you found my service unsatisfactory. Please submit any complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Have a nice day. You've arrived. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you came up empty. Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. I am standing before this council, fully armed. Don't be ridiculous. The Bolas won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push. So that I can Hearing's kill you if Come I on. feel like it. Yeah. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. Racist. I resent these accusations. Specious. I was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against Mr. Me. Anderson. 
And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not Do you have wild. anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't wait. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. I'm glad to see justice was served. Pure accuracy. Typical. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You I know, sir. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. Expose him, eh? What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can Forget. help us track. They suspended Harkin last month. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office. Harkin's there. probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. The shadow broker? An information... He might know something okay. about Saren. Okay. But his information won't come cheap. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. Whew. A lot of talking. Huh. That guy's up to something. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keep- Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. <laughs> I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? This is well, a great recap. Oh, not yeah. <laughs> the keepers. I don't Last really time on Mass, Mass Effect. Them, <laughs> but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. <laughs> I, I am above the are. authorities. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance hmm. Military. You'll need this. Activate it each time you see a keeper. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good. I bet that's bad. He's paying me to scan those things. That's gonna turn out to be like some sort of trap. But you know what? I'll see where that mission goes. But I wouldn't believe everything you hear. That's just it. I'm hearing it everywhere. It's not just isolated rumors. Do you really think so? What was that? Saren?
Guess not. Now then, where did Garrus go? Please do not disturb the keepers. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Because it's a big, stupid jellyfish. How can I convince my superior that I deserve a promotion if I cannot convince this annoying jelly to leave? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. Oh crap, what did I say? I'll be back. This one will continue to spread its message. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Let me talk to the CSEC. This one would be most... Any progress with that Hanar? You're suppressing that Hanar's religious freedom. I should. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. If I purchase the evangelical permit myself... As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes, that would solve the issue for me. I'll be back. Okay. I don't care what you have to do. Just get rid of... See, that's unfortunate. I should just be able to buy it right there. Why does he have an exclamation point? Any progress with that Hanar? Sorry. I'll let you know what the something is. Down this ramp? I 
I guess so. Yeah, you said the same thing I did. I helped him out. Uh, I just like seeing where like missions will go. And in the case of that thing, at least the preaching guy. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling. I got their nothing against them. <laughs> Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Pro I can afford it, I'm sure. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How do you know who I am? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find Okay. Keep thinking that's gonna bring up the menu, but it just <laughs> unholsters my gun. Speak to Harkin. C-Sec. Oh, but he's in that bar. Ugh, it's still not... Could have done that a while ago. <laughs> a gentleman's club. Ah, oh, well. That's him. What? What? We're fighting. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fizz's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Rogans! Rogans! Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. I have what no was that quarrel all about? with you. Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Out of my way, you. Alliance. 
advanced military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. I'm looking for a CSEC officer. Victoria. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related. The captain used to be a Spectre. Didn't know that, did you? Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. <laughs> Michelle's office. I'm like, I, she runs I, the I, I don't the care. Side of the wards. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. You drink it in peace. has to say about all this. Uh, Med Club. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You want, Let no. me see what you have. No, I don't. I don't. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Stop it with the weapons. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Level up.
didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Headshot, boom. Not nearly enough loot. Perfect timing, Shepard. <laughs> Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. She did. The information she was going to trade. She, she must said... be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Move out. Rex. about leaving Citadel security? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only <laughs> warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. <laughs> you want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. 
I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. I think we're gonna get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Lower Chores Den. Looks like it shut down. This no Look out!
Oh, come on. Looks like it's shut down. Tell me I surrender! Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. Ooh. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. Good, I went the Did right way. It? Where's the shadow broker? I had no idea Where's where to Fist? go. They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off.
would not let me hit him. Fist set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? I don't have time for questions. I need the evidence you have against Saren. I guess I owe you. But not out here in the open. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. True that. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who is this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Where's the proof you promised? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren... Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Bum, bum, bum. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name. According before. to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction and then they vanished. Sounds a little far fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods. The Council is just going to love this. They won't believe you anyway. We just have to them. tell them. Even if they don't believe anything else, this proves Saren is a traitor. The Captain's right. We what about her? The Quarian. My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. So she's all tech. Um, I'm sticking with these two. Finish up the Citadel stuff so I can get out of here. Good God, I forgot how slow the beginning of this game was. But I'm not surprised because the beginning of Knights of the Old Republic and Knights of the Old Republic 2 are both pretty slow, but they're also both great games, so. Scan the Keepers, good stuff.
Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion. A lot of people want my help these my days. My wife was a Marine. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to We'll be look returned. into it. The man in... Thank you for your time. This is awkward. How do I leave? saying but the please greeting human it is always good to see your kind i am ambassador kalen genuine query is there something i can do for you this day goodbye ambassador sincere farewell good day to you human enjoy your time on the citadel like i was friendly how do i leave the Citadel. Seriously. I think that's another reason I wasn't a huge fan of this game. Okay, map. Embassy. This is not where I need to go.
I do want to shoot everyone, but that's not actually what I need. Okay. I guess I'll check over here. Where am I trying to go? I'm trying to go to my ship. Well, there's these guys. Bet it's that way. That way. Wards. Any progress with that Hanar? I think you should let the Hanar preach. The Presidium? Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species... If I purchased the Evangelical... As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. If I purchased the Evangelical permit myself... As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit... I'll be yeah. back. I don't care what you have to do. Yeah. I guess I don't have enough money for that. Please do not disturb the keepers. Citadel Towers. Okay. Elevator at the tower. Alright, well, I'll give that a shot. Because where am I right now? Hold on. I think I need to talk to this guy at some point anyway. What's this? It is a great honor to well. I am a financial. You're very. I should funny. go. Goodbye, Commander. No. The Citadel Tower. Guess I'll try that. takes me to the Citadel Tower. Alright, well, I'm tired of looking, so I'm gonna look it up on my phone, and this is very stupid. Like, how do you not have... Ward's location, CSEC, elevator. Okay, see, it's not it's not simple. There's no there's no place that says like landing dock or loading dock or this is where your ship is. Apparently you have to go to the CSEC office and then go somewhere else. And it's like How was I supposed to just know that? Or am I supposed to remember every single thing that's happening in this very 
like plot heavy world heavy nonsense like how do I get back to my ship that should be very easy to do oh nonsense so you have to go here you have to go to CSEC and let, let me make sure I don't get lost from there from there enter the elevator that's right in the middle of the room to go to the docking bay This elevator, I'm guessing. Two docking bay. excavation team is running there's, to an there's unexpected no... problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the. There's nothing in the map that tells you how to get there. There's nothing. You can't select a mission. See, there are problems with this game. Like it's a good game, but. I would have just had to have stumbled back onto this location. There's no. And it, you can't, like, change something else. Like, I was in the map. You can't go to any other location unless you're actually in the physical room or whatever. Ah, it's. There's problems. Anyway, let's go on back to the ship, finally. Good lord. The beginning of this game, I tell you. Again, I think that's why one of the big reasons I like 2 and 3 much better. Not only was the general gameplay better, but... Sorry, Commander. No I think they overreached right with this one. Doing some routine maintenance. Not to say it's a bad game, I'm not saying that. But... Sorry, Commander. Nobody's allowed okay, on the Normandy right me. now. Doing some routine maintenance. Killing me. Sorry, Commander. Nobody's allowed on the Normandy right now. Doing some routine maintenance. Do you mean you can't get? Go to the high. How am I? right now doing some routine maintenance oh my god then okay well where am I supposed to go Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long range. Return to tower. God, the stupid frickin' day. So I just wasted a ton of freaking stupid time. Because once again, oh, this game is ridiculous. Why you can't just fast travel? I think I just broke the game. Okay. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to like the You Kelsey. can't. You can't select a mission Eden to be your priority mission and then have a waypoint. That, that doesn't Eden exist. Apparently. One step closer to it's stupid. The conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof. There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status 
and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. She must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Uh... You're an idiot. How do I say that? 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the right... That to... is not good enough! You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I've earned this. Yeah. And that's why I think step forward. The second and third games are much better because they learned from the mistakes of the first one. Um at least as far as like gameplay goes. I know that like the just the general gameplay of the second and third ones is so much more smooth. I think they just tried for too much in this first one. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. The Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council. Instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. What's my first mission? We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. You're welcome. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the... Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up.
bastard didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on, right behind you, Shepard. Oh, no worries, Stuart. Don't want to go there yet. Where was the requisitions officer? Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Boom. Well, I Heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you I'll got. open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Cost ridiculously high. Because working as a secret agent, you'll just naturally be <laughs> have access to way more money. Okay. death and destruction is a Turian specter. Saren is either a traitor or a madman. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a specter. Treat her well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. What happened? Were... I failed. I couldn't make the cut. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. Came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Saren's not going to get away this time. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You may- I'll take care of- Alright, let's go. My god. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. 
Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. The Council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They've never helped us in the past. No reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the Conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. Fancy speeches won't stop Saren from finding the conduit. If we really want to make the Captain proud, we better get this bird in the air. Yes, sir. Commander, something you need? I have to go. All right, see ya. Okay, I thought I would know which planet to go to specifically.
and I get to land on a planet. I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. Finally. It looks like an automated distress beacon.
Alliance soldiers. Looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. Looks like these men were under Admiral Kahoku's command. He'd want to know what happened here. Okay, well, I guess that's it. Gotta be here. This is where I need to go, but... Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. How do I get there?
Only a fool punches a nap. He should sneak around and pull his tail. What am I doing?
nothing. There's nothing. 
Why have a side passage if there's nothing? Not even a collectible? What are you doing, game?
visited a Prothean ruin before. A citadel, I mean. Just lead the way. I'm here if you need me. Good stuff, Garrus. Something's going wrong. Uh, hello? Could somebody help me? Please? Nah. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Quit shouting. This place is crawling with Geth. Sorry, I am a little... Look, my name is Dr. Liara Tassoni. I am an archaeologist. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? There's some kind of propulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past... That's the tricky part. Be careful.
Simon says... Hits! Okay, I'm hitting the control. Okay, there we go. Hello. I hope. I hope. Ooh, ooh. Get in here. I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before Morgeth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Not so fast, Shepard. You sure she's on our side? Her mother's working with Saren. True. I am not True. my mother. I don't even. I don't know why Benezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously, he wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... Ba, 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 ba. What the hell was that? Uh... These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, Mr. eight minutes. If I die in here, I'll kill him. Time to deal with this idiot. Charge! <sighs> I like your attitude.
that was a close one. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? Sometimes Joker's a real ass. Just try to ignore him. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost That's not as if interesting. someone did not want the mystery solved. It's a lack it of is interest. Like someone came along after the Protheans Boo. were gone. But here is the incredible part. According what to psych? the the Okay, the oh, thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. We've already got every other non-human species on board. Might as well add an Asari to the team. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Prothean's true fate. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Don't bother. Aye, aye, sir. Okay, that's where I'm gonna have to leave it for now. <laughs> My goodness, that music. Uh, yeah, I'll have to come back to this another time, but for the time being, the Mass Effect Legendary Edition is on sale on Steam. You get Mass Effect 1, 2, 3, and Andromeda for like 15 bucks or so. Not bad. And Mass Effect 1 is my least favorite, I think, of all the games. A lot of people didn't like Andromeda when it came out, but I remember enjoying that one. Uh, definitely more so than this one. I can see where they were trying to go with this one, but my goodness. I feel like I enjoyed 2 and 3 way better. I might even just start up... Playing Mass Effect 2 because yeah we'll see how I feel about it. anyway thanks for watching and uh, if you want to pick up Mass Effect it is on sale